Hi, it's Miss Parrot, and in this video, we're going to be doing unit conversion by multiplying fractions. This is a process that you're going to need in every single science class and many math classes for the rest of your educational career. So get ready to learn something that's going to be super useful and help you for many years to come. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it and work through three different examples um, of how you could convert units using six simple steps. So units are just labels that we put on numbers to give them meaning. So for instance, 204 centimeters, well a centimeter, one centimeter is roughly the size, the length of my thumbnail here. So 204 of those, that is a lot of thumbnails. Our question is, well how many feet is that? A foot is about the distance on my body anyway, from my wrist to my elbow. So that's about a foot. So the question is, how many of these little thummies equals, or how many of these equals 204 of these? That's what this question is. And so there's a way to do it mathematically. It's six simple steps we're going to work through. The first one is we take what we know, that being 204 centimeters, and since we're multiplying fractions, we turn that into a fraction by putting it over the number one. Then we'll choose what's called a conversion factor. In this case, I have a set of conversion factors. Here are six of them. And you choose the one that has factors equivalent to each other that you care about. So in our case, we care about this one because it has feet and centimeters. And that's what we know. We have centimeters and we, know how we want to know how many feet it is. Then we'll set up a multiplication problem, multiplying fractions. So we will have turned uh, the conversion factor into a fraction and then we will actually solve the problem by cross-canceling units we don't need, the ones we don't want, multiplying across, simplifying, and rounding according to the rules that the teacher gives you. So let's just work a practice problem and see how it goes. All right, so first we take what we know, 204 centimeters, and turn it into a fraction by putting it over one. You gotta have units at every step in the whole process and in your answer. So we take that, we're going to choose a conversion factor and turn that conversion factor into a fraction. So let's see. In this case, again, this one, one foot equals 30.48 centimeters. So I'm going to turn that into a fraction to where if I have centimeters in the numerator here, I want centimeters in the denominator over here. So 30.48 over one foot. Now, my last things, I'm going to cross cancel my units. So if I have centimeters up top and on the bottom here, I can, those actually cancel each other out, which is good. That's the whole point is to get rid of centimeters because we're looking for feet. Multiply across, simplify and round. So 204 times one foot is 204 feet divided by one times 30.48 is 30.48. There are no units here because we canceled those out. Now time to simplify and round. 204, no, 204 divided by 30.48 equals, and since we did two decimal places here, we'll keep this, we'll round that to two decimal places as well. 6.69, don't forget those units. And that's your answer. In my class, you get points for actually multiplying with fractions, setting it up correctly using the right method. You get points for using units at every step. You get points for rounding correctly according to whatever I ask in the question. And you get points um, for uh, the actual calculation correctly. Um, so it's important that you have all this. Okay, let's try a different one. In this case, we have 612 kilometers, kilometers meaning a thousand meters, so that's a very long distance. So how many, 612 kilometers equals how many centimeters? Again, a centimeter just being about this length, so that's probably gonna end up being a big number. All right, looking at those steps one more time. Let's fly through them. Take what we know, 
12 kilometers. We take, find our conversion factor. In this case, kilometers and centimeters is right here, this first one. One kilometer, 100,000 centimeters. One kilometer equals 100,000 centimeters. Remember, we put kilometers on the bottom because kilometers were in the numerator over here, so we put them in the denominator in this second fraction so that they cancel each other out. Multiply across 612,000 centimeters. Got to have units. And then one times one is one. And there's no need to round, but we don't need to leave that as a fraction, so we'll make it 612,000 centimeters. That's a lot. All right, final practice question. In this case, we have 849 centimeters, so 849 little thumb lengths, equals how many millimeters? Millimeters are much smaller than centimeters, so things are gonna look a little different. Step one, take what we know. Turn it into a fraction. 849 centimeters over one. Choose our conversion factor. So we have centimeters and millimeters. Ah, centimeters and millimeters. The trick here, this one, centimeters, is a decimal. Yes, you can put decimals in, like while you're multiplying fractions. So in this case, right, don't forget, we, what? We put centimeters on the bottom. We have 0 0.1 centimeter equals one millimeter. All right, cross cancel our units. We'll multiply across, so 849 times one millimeter, 849 millimeters, divided by one times 0 0.1, 0 0.1. There are no units on the bottom because we canceled those out. Now we can't leave a decimal in the denominator, so let's clear this out. 849 divided by 0.1 equals 8,490 millimeters. And that is our final answer. So there you go. That was three practice problems on how to convert units by multiplying fractions using, in this case, distance to keep it simple, give us a good basic background. Um, I hope this helps you out and I'll do another video that's just working a bunch of practice problems. I hope this helped.